Pete, Ava, and I were really excited about our trip to Cumberland Island. Uh, we had a few things to get ready to go. Uh, we had to get some groceries, had to make sure a lot of our systems were running good on Norna, and we also had some work we had to finish before we could leave. We planned on taking a week to Cumberland Island, and here is the beginning. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had it in my backpack. No, it was in my backpack that whole time. Here is the bowsprit that Pete had made. He's actually putting the bowsprit back onto the boat. And this is the installation of it. So we were heading into shore. And all of a sudden, Ava looks over and she notices this little rat. Well, actually, it's kind of a big rat. Yeah, it's a big rat. <laughs> and uh, it was climbing on to our rudder. Luckily, we had a used dog food bag that we could kind of scoot the rat into. And now we're taking it over to Bird Island in St. Augustine. We don't want to knock it into the water so that it falls on, climbs onto somebody else's boat. And we also didn't want to just take it into shore to the town because nobody really wants the rat around. On our way to Bird Island to let this rat go, Layla saw a cormorant and decided to, whoopsies, fall into the water. So we had to quickly shut off our outboard or put it into neutral. And we were actually worried about the rat as well. We didn't want it to chew its way out of the dog food bag. So there was a lot going on at that moment. Mary's Inlet right here. I mean St. Mary's, uh, the town of St. Mary's. And here's Fernandina Beach. So it's not very far past Fernandina. I mean, it's like, shh. We're going to be sailing up to Cumberland Island tomorrow, probably real early in the morning. It's going to be about an eight-hour boat ride up to some anchorage north of Jacksonville. And then, uh, and then another six to eight hours to Cumberland from there. We'll see how long it takes, depending on wind and current. So I was kind of messing around, making sure everything was working on our GPS and our chart plotter. We got a charging system for it. So I think we're almost ready. We just, uh, I'm waiting on Pete and Ava to get back from the grocery store. We scrubbed the bottom. We did so much to get ready. next morning was beautiful. The sunrise was gorgeous and uh, we made some coffee. We had to actually return back to the mooring ball because our belt was squeaking on the engine and uh, tighten that belt up and then we could finally let go of that mooring ball and start heading north. You gotta take a poopy. Go right here. She doesn't want anything to do with it. She will when she has to go though. We definitely had to make sure we had enough food. Meanwhile, I tried my second attempt at letting Layla know she can go on deck. <laughs> finally, the wind came up and we could finally raise a sail. And of course, being in the intercoastal requires raising the sail and lowering the sail over and over again. And Layla feels better. 
she finally figured out what I was telling her. This is the best road to go on. Being out on vacation, being able to move Norna and be on our own, made me enjoy some of the simpler things in life. There's some sort of peace that happens being out there. Maybe because all you hear is the wind. Some sort of quietness out there. You have time to be bored and not so busy. Something that happens not very often. spot for the night. Um, we motored about six to eight hours. We left at seven. It's five now. Wow. Been going for ten hours. Um, but we uh, are anchored in a spot for the night and then we're going to head up to Cumberland in the morning. What do you think, Ava? After dropping our first anchor, which was a bruise with about 120 feet of chain, it was time to set our second anchor, which is a Danforth with some line, um, just to keep us off the beach, just in case. But first order of business, take Layla to shore. Place the anchor into the water. Yeah! Be free, young Peter. Make sure no boats come through your water. There's one kind of coming. <laughs> Hitting screens on the boat. Now, it's gonna be buggy screen. tonight. Check out the check out our uh, our screen up forward here. Necessity is the key to invention. Okay, now it's like, it looks like you're standing on the water because there's no none of the boat in there. She's embarrassed. She's like, oh, it was just a piece of metal. So that's all the boat is. Then we add six feet to each marking. So it's like 20 something feet. Yay! That means we're not going to hit the bottom. Yay! Yay! 